Hey, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going over the last of the solid principles, the dependency inversion principle. It states that high level modules should not depend on low level modules. A violation of this principle occurs when we have a higher level module that depends directly on a concrete implementation, okay? Instead of having some interface or abstract class, it depends on a concrete implementation. So we wanna fix that and separate those out. All right, now let's look at an example. Okay, for this example, I have two classes. I have an email service class, which just has one method that takes a recipient and a message and then just prints it out. And then there's a messaging service that takes in the concrete implementation email service as a constructor, and then just sends a message calling that email service send mail method. Well, the problem now is what if we wanted other services, not just email? What if we also wanted text services and we want to send messages that way? Well, this means we create another concrete implementation, probably has some if else statements in the send message method of the messaging service. Basically, any change or any other implementation we need to make, we're going to have to update code in the base messaging service class. And we don't want to do that. Okay. We want it so that no matter what implementation we have, whether we have 10 different services for sending messages, the messaging service class shouldn't change. It should be able to take in any of those implementations and send a message. Okay, so our solution to the problem is we're gonna have an interface and we can create multiple implementations from that interface. And then the messaging service class, all it has to do is take in the interface and then no matter what implementation we give it, it's gonna send a message regardless. Okay, let's begin coding this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create an interface and we're going to call it message sender. Okay. This is going to have one method, just void send message that takes in a recipient and a message. And now I'm going to go ahead and create two implementations an email and a text service. So let's create the first one. This is going to be called email service implementation. And now this is going to implement the message sender implements message sender. And then we can go ahead and have it implement the methods for us. And I'll just copy and paste uh, something I already had. And this is going to print out that this is an email and then uh, the recipient and whatever the message is. Now let's create the text or I'll call it the SMS uh, implementation. So SMS service implementation. And then I'm going to copy paste the printout and this will be from a text. Okay. So now the last thing is we had this messaging service that took in an email service and then that specific email service would send an email. Okay. Now we're going to change this up a little bit. So instead of bringing in an email service, we're going to bring in the interface and this is going to be the send a message method because all implementations from the message sender interface, uh, all use the send message method. So let's go ahead and create a, another service. Say this is new message service instead of the email service concrete implementation we're going to be bringing in the interface so private message sender message sender okay so now to create the constructor i can just you know code this out or a little tip for intellij and probably other ides if you right click go to generate click constructor and then choose the field so we just have one interface well we have one field the interface select it hit okay and boom constructor created now what we need is just a generic uh, send message method. So send message, we still need the recipient. And then we need the message. And now instead of the email service calling its specific send email method, all we need to do is take the interface message sender, and then it's going to call the send message method and then the recipient and put in the message. That's all we needed to do. Now let's look at an example of how we would use this so you can see what's going on. The first thing I've done is I created or I instantiated two objects, one for each of the implementations of the interface. So the email service and the SMS service. I then created a new message service. And in the constructor, remember it took the interface message sender, but because we have implementations of the interface, we can now just substitute either the email service or the SMS service or any other implementation that you want to create. We can substitute those in and it will work. Well, let's test it out. So we create the new service. And then in that service, we just had the one method and it took in a recipient and a message. Now, if we run this, hello, Tyler example.com, this is an email message. Okay. Now let's substitute in the SMS service instead. And let's say this is an SMS message. And when we run this, it'll say this is a, this is from the text. In the implementation, we wrote down text and hello, tylerexample.com. This is an SMS message. So 
you can substitute any implementation into this new message service because it takes it in the interface of those. So what we've done now is the high level module, which is the new messaging service, doesn't depend on just a simple concrete implementation, right? So we were depending on email service. Well, now we're depending on an interface, which is an abstraction, and we can substitute any of the implementation in, in the high level module, the new messaging service doesn't care about the implementation. It's going to print out the recipient and the message, no matter what, it does not care. And that's exactly what we want. Go ahead and click here for the playlist that has the rest of the solid principles. And I'll be seeing you next time.